Upamim betero dapi moro. This is this is a good one here. What's api moro? Somebody goes to Ruvain and he says, Ruvain, you're a thief. You victimized. You did this and this and this, and the person remains silent. And he doesn't counter it, doesn't defend himself. And this is done in the presence of others. So we say, normally we say, silence is, is actually, is, is admission. Because normally the person would try to defend himself. So you say, maybe this person's a tzaddik. He's meek, and, or he's, that's his person. He doesn't. What about a person who normally, he will not tolerate this for a moment. He normally immediately would react and defend himself. And he doesn't defend himself. Do you have a right to draw from that that silence is admission to the fact, and therefore now you're permitted to share it. Because that confirms it's true. You're not permitted. Because you never know why the person didn't respond. Even though other times he reacts and he will not tolerate it, and he will not take it from anyone, this particular moment, there may be a reason why he remained silent. Therefore, silence is not a confirmation of admission that he's admitting to the fact that it's something truthful, what, what's being said. See, even it's Papi more, it's in the presence of the person who's being spoken about. And you saw the man didn't react, didn't respond, you have no right to say a word. That's not a confirmation of the truth of what that, what that statement was. The person says, you know something? What I'm telling you is the truth because you know something? I'd even say it in his face. People speak this way. You know, people, unfortunately, I mean, it's the early comedy speak, people, oath, taking an oath is very serious. When you swear. And people, they swear, even when, when you go to court and you're swearing the truth, halachically, you're not supposed to swear. Because to swear in the name of God is something very serious. It says very few people are permitted to swear even on the truth. So therefore, legally in America, in the United States, when you have to take an oath, we say we affirm. We don't use the term, I swear. We affirm. So regarding the laws of, lie, of um, perjury, when you say you affirm, you're bound. So therefore, the court accepts that, saying, rather than saying, I swear. But people, today, less than not going too far back, people are in a bad habit. They would swear on everything. I swear this, I swear that. It's very serious. Because first, even if it's true, you're not permitted. But people very often, they use that terminology, I swear. And a person would say, you know, I I'm telling you this true, even though they say, I swear. Because even if the man would be standing before me, I would say it without any hesitation, because it's true. And the person says it in such a convincing way, you say, how could it not be true? And this man always speaks truth. I know the man for years. He's never uttered a lie. You're not permitted to believe it. Regardless of what he says. Because even if he would say it, it still doesn't mean it's true. Because even if the remain, person remains silent, silence is not admission. And even if you never, you're always, my, rich, my relation with you is you've never spoken a lie, you cannot change the status of a person to a negative status unless it's proven with witnesses. And therefore, it's unacceptable.